Hey guys, welcome back to lesson 10 of this 30 day beginners course. So we're a third through, woohoo, excellent work. Um, and well done for getting this far through. This is, this is incredible, you know, this is a lot of stuff to learn. We've got the structure and you've been picking it up every day. So we're really getting there now. Now in this lesson, we're gonna be bringing in a, a scale, our first scale, which is called the E minor pentatonic. Now, we're not gonna talk theory on this scale. We're deliberately not gonna worry about that. The reason we learn an E minor pentatonic is because it's one of the easiest scales to apply to melodies and solos. Okay, so it's a great scale to start with. It means we're gonna be using the six strings um, of the guitar to actually kind of continue adding a new guitar gym workout as well and give you something which you can start having a bit of fun with melodically and we'll eventually go into our first song. So there's loads going on here. So pick up your guitar, electric or acoustic, doesn't matter, and we'll get started. this course and you've just come through to this on YouTube then please remember that you can head on over to the website and you'll find full write-ups for every lesson all of the tab all of the chord boxes the fretboards everything you need to absolutely smash and master every single lesson as well as that please do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel it massively helps us continue to provide you these free courses and leave us a comment if you've got questions we will get back to you so leave us a comment under the video and we'll speak to you there Okay guys, so the E minor pentatonic, it sounds like this. Where are we gonna play it? It sounds like this. Okay. Now, the pentatonic scale, we're not gonna do the theory as I said in the intro, but we are gonna realize and just know that it's the scale for kind of rock, blues, pop players. So all that kind of, you know. If I pop on a little bit of this, let's have a little go. Ha! <laughs> Any knee? So many great riffs, so many great solos. It's the sound of... It, do you know what? It's the sound of the electric guitar. In many, in many, I've said it, there it is. It's just a great scale. Probably, you know, if you're into kind of rock or your blues, a lot of your favorite solos will have come from this. If you're into your pop, then a lot of your favorite melodies will have come from this. Um, and it's just a fantastic scale to learn. It's a relatively easy scale to start with, and one that, especially when it comes to starting to get into a little bit of improvisation, it's hugely important, okay? It will massively help you to start to just get a bit more creative on the guitar, okay? So, I'm gonna be walking you through the scale shape, um, and we'll talk a little bit about the tab again, of how it's kind of put together. Um, remember that you can get that tab over on the website if you're unsure about any of these fingerings and stuff like that. So what we need to do is just establish a scale is a set of notes um, chosen from your, you know, the notes available to you. So we, we established before that we have 12 notes on the fretboard, you know, and then it just loops. And a scale is a set of notes that we choose, that then we apply. So for example, in this case, a pentatonic scale, penta is kind of like five, it means five. So it's a five note scale that you then repeat. All right, so that's all we need theory-wise at this point. Let's learn the scale. So we're gonna start with an open E string. Okay, open E string, nice and easy start. Then we're gonna take your third finger and put it on the third fret of the E string for your second note, okay? So it's first note, second note, all right? And then we're gonna do the open A string and then you're gonna take your second finger and put it on the second fret of the A string. So, so far we've got open E, third fret, third finger, 
open A, second fret, second finger. So again, we're doing one finger per fret here, okay? Then we do the same thing on the D string, so open D string, second fret. Same thing on the G string, so open G string, second fret. Then we go the open B string, so it's always an open string, and then third fret, and then open E string, and third fret. Okay, don't worry about all this vibrato and malarkey at the moment, let's just get this clean. So all in all, your scale with the left hand is this. Open, third fret, open, second fret, open, Second fret, that's one octave. Okay. Then we carry on, do the same thing again. So open, second fret, open, third fret, open, that's the second octave. And then we hit this note on top as well, the third fret, okay? So we repeat the same set of five notes, basically twice, plus one at the top there, okay? So that is your scale, and we want to do it in reverse as well. So we would do third fret, open, third fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, second fret, open, third fret, open. Okay? And you can finish with the E minor, like that. Okay? So that's your scale. like any guitar gym at the moment. We're just learning a scale shape and we're gonna put it to a drum beat. So what I want you guys to do is to come over to your drums or head over to the website to get a drum beat. Um, and I'm gonna use, cause we're gonna do fourth notes here. So I'm gonna use 70 BPM, okay? And like this, fourth notes. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Reverse, we'll do the same note again. Okay. Now that's too if that's too um, oh, sorry. if that's too fast for you, then just drop it right down. 60 BPM, 50 BPM. Just choose a speed that feels comfortable for you. The aim is to try and get it even across that drum beat. We do everything with the drum beat from the start because one of the more, something that people don't realize when they come to play lead or anything like that is that the the better your rhythm is the better your lead guitar will sound like for example Angus Young is is one of the best rhythmical lead guitar players you've ever heard um you know it's not overly complicated lead guitar playing but it's so rhythmical that it just sounds so good okay if you do it without rhythm it's just going to sound all over the place so doing it developing it with a drum beat really locks in that rhythm and that technique. Now, the only other thing to mention here is with your right hand, you want to continue doing that down, up picking. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and then start again. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So that right hand is continuing to do this, this kind of down up picking. Okay, so let's just take a quick break there. Pop the guitar down and we're gonna pick up the chalkboard, all right? And we're just gonna draw the first two bars of the tab, all right? Now, you'll find that over, all right, all right, all right, I need to stop saying all right. Um, you'll find that over uh, on the website, the full tab. And what we're gonna do here is just draw it out together. So we really remember how to do the tab and how it works. So remember six strings. So I'm gonna do my six strings. That gives us our basic um, stave, you could call it, bars. And I'm gonna draw the first bar as the starting block. Okay, so we've got our basic thing there. And what I'll also do is I'll just draw a few bars. So one, two bars, okay, we'll, we'll do a bar of three. So we've got bar number one, bar number two, and bar number three. All right, so working with the world's wonkiest tab, but we get the gist of it. So we're doing fourth notes. So we're gonna get four notes in each bar, 
Okay, the first one is zero, because it's an open string. Open string is zero. Then we go to the third fret on the E string. Then we do the open A string, and then we do the second fret on the A string. So that's the first start of our uh, tab. So we've got the open string, third fret on the E string, then the open string, second fret on the A string. Remember, we read across like a book. Okay, we read it across. Um, then we're gonna do an open string in the next bar, we're gonna do an open string on the D, and then second fret, an open string on the G, second fret, okay? And then in bar number three, we're gonna again do open string, but this time third fret, and then on the high E string, open third. So that gives us the first part of our tab. And you can see it's, it's very you know, um, easy to look at, isn't it? Because you can see it's clearly going from low to high, because this is the low sound, this is the high sound. So it's, it's, it's very kind of, it's a good picture format almost as well, in terms of visualizing what this might sound like. Um, so we're going from low to high, 0, 3, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 3. And that depicts the start of our tab. Remember, check out the website to see that whole thing. But hopefully now we're really starting to get a feel for how tab works. So you'd see that, and that would give you an idea about how this this um, exercise will work. So there we have it guys, we've got this brand new scale, the E minor pentatonic scale, in this position that we, we kind of learned it in here. Um, and what I want you to do is add that to your warm ups. all right? So this is the end of unit two. So now you can add this, this is very much an exercise. So this goes into that guitar gym category. And that is gonna be a massive part of your warm ups now. So you would do your five, six, seven, eight, Oh, let's just turn that up. You know, that, that part, all the way down and up. You do these little bits of chords, just making sure they're sounding good. Slowly, these are gonna come out of your warm-ups because you're gonna find them too easy soon. So they don't have to constantly be in your warm-ups. As soon as it's got to a point where it's like, I know that, it doesn't have to be in your warm-up anymore. Okay, it's there until you've absolutely smashed it. And with scales, that's gonna develop as well. So now we've got a new scale. We get our drum beat on we try and add that to our warm-up, spend a couple of minutes doing that, and then get into the bulk of the practice, which is still the E minor to C major seven with the two rhythm patterns. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this so far. You're doing absolutely brilliantly to get to this stage with me, and as a reward, in the next lesson, so come back tomorrow, and we'll start a new full song that you're gonna to learn to play. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. That's it for today. Please do head on over to the next lesson when you're ready, which you can find here, or you can start from the beginning of the playlist right here on YouTube over here. Also, if you want to leave us a comment, we do our best to answer any questions that you might have and pop us a like and subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Every little helps. Thank you so much guys, speak to you later.